Chechen fighters have been taking part in Russia's counter-offensive in the Kursk region since Ukraine's surprise incursion in the region in early August. Both Chechen leader Ramzan Kadyrov and commander of the Akhmat unit Apti Alodinov have stated that Chechens were defending Russia's border region. However, recently there were reports about a large number of Russian fighters, among them Chechens, surrendering to Ukrainian troops during the attack on Russia's Kursk region. Apti Alodinov, the commander of the Akhmat Special Forces Unit, which is a paramilitary organization in Russia's Chechnya, has harshly criticized the Kadyrovites who have surrendered to Ukrainian troops. You don't deserve to live. Get yourself killed. Alodinov said in a 12-minute video, the commander of the Akhmat Special Forces Unit said that Chechen fighters who voluntarily surrendered to Ukrainians will not be returned to Chechnya. According to Alodinov, only the wounded and killed should be returned. He also addressed the Ukrainian military and said that they could do whatever they wanted with the captured Chechen fighters. I have a question. Those of you who voluntarily surrendered into captivity, how deluded you must be that you think I would ask or do anything to get you out of captivity. I don't respect you at all. I don't think that you deserve to live because I wonder how you are going to after you raised your paws and surrendered like girls in captivity. How are you going to live at all? Even now you are in captivity. Just stand up, take a pen, a nail and attack someone. Do everything to get killed in order to die as men. When you surrendered, you broke a vow, which automatically makes you fall under people who have strayed from the sacred path. Ukrainians, keep them for yourself. We don't need them at all. And it makes absolutely no difference to me what you do with them. Alodinov concluded. The State Duma has responded to Alodinov's comments, stating that Russians are being released from captivity and that Chechnya is part of Russia. It should be noted that earlier, Alodinov claimed that those captured during the Ukrainian troops' incursion into the Kursk region in early August had no relation to the Akhmat Special Forces unit. His claims were rejected by media reports. Four people were wounded at a subway station in New York City's Brooklyn borough on Sunday when police officers shot a man threatening them with a knife and inadvertently sprayed bullets that hit passengers, authorities said. The people struck by gunfire included two innocent bystanders, one of the officers and the man with the blade, who the police initially confronted because he hadn't paid his fare, officials said. One of the passengers, a 49-year-old man, was hospitalized in critical condition after a bullet passed into an adjoining subway car and struck his head. A video posted by a passenger showed upset passengers fleeing, police running to help the injured and the wounded officer suddenly realizing he had also been struck by a bullet. Interim Police Commissioner Thomas Donlan, who was only appointed to his position Friday, promised a thorough investigation, but cast blame for the incident on the man accused of brandishing the knife. So did Metropolitan Transit Authority CEO John Olieber. We bless the officers and the mayor and the police and the NYPD who puts people out there to make sure that people who get on the transit system do not have to encounter people with weapons. In this case, that's what those officers were doing. They were trying to prevent somebody who had a weapon from getting on a train. And terrible things occurred, Lieber said. The shooting happened when two officers followed a man up the station steps to an elevated platform after seeing him enter without paying. Chief of Department Jeffrey Madry said. They followed him onto a train that had pulled into the station and fired two tasers, but neither incapacitated the man, Madry said. Madry said the man was advancing on the officers with the knife when both officers fired multiple rounds. The 37-year-old man was hit several times. He was hospitalized in stable condition. The video taken by a passenger shows the officers rendering first aid, before one of them realized that he, too, had been hit by a bullet. Besides the passenger struck in the head, a 26-year-old woman suffered a graze wound. The wounded police officer had a bullet enter his torso under his armpit and lodge in his back but was expected to make a full recovery. Mayor Eric Adams, a Democrat, visited the wounded officer in the hospital Sunday. First of all, uh, thank God our officers are, are okay. 
and uh, clearly they averted an even greater tra tragedy with a person with over 20 arrests, uh, a real career criminal. Uh, we have uh, four people uh, that were shot and we're able to have a real account of what's uh, actually occurred uh, due to what I believe is the uh, partnership with the TA and the police department. We have a number of cameras that not only on the train, but on a platform as well as the body-worn cameras of our offices.